Well, hi, well, big welcome back to the channel. And this is our hundredth video here on YouTube. So thank you so much for all the help and all the support on the channel. And this week, it's all about the journey to our electrical installation, the solar panels, all the blue stuff from Victron. So enough chat, let's go and have a look. guys good morning well it's a beautiful morning here in norfolk i'm just on my way to the yard uh we've got a few days this week to get the truck ready basically for driving down to devices uh the other end of the country for the electrical installation so all the solar panels the victron kit is being installed and obviously a really big part of the build a very important part of the build and a part of the build that i'm really looking forward to uh because we've kind of gone all out with the electrical installation but we'll talk more about that later uh, for now, I'm on the way to the yard because a truck needs a really, really good swab on the inside and I'll explain more later on that. But today for me, it's all about getting the side tool bins fitted. Unfortunately, the rear tool bins aren't finished, probably won't be finished this week. So I've got to come up with some sort of mudguard temporary solution. So we'll, we'll see. So anyway, let's get to the yard. So I just mentioned that the place was a little bit dusty and it is. And it's because whilst I was in the paint shop, I got the guys to do this wall. So they've done a little bit of fiberglass work and then they've painted it. And as you can see, or well, sprayed it. And as you can see, it's wider than everything else. So they've done a really good job. I'm really happy with it. And ultimately, it's one less job for me to do. So this is today's job, getting on these tow bins. So I've got a box full of locks here and they're all keyed the same because I want all the bins, including the made bins, uh, to have the same keys. So I'm not faffing about it, so I'm going to have one key for everything, which will make life a lot easier. I use a motorcycle jack to lift the boxes into place. It's a perfect tool for the job as it allows me to get the box exactly into place and align the mounting bolts. I bought these side tool bins back in February and had the frame made specifically to hold them. It was then galvanised and powder coated black. The bins are made by an Italian company called Deccan and come in a variety of sizes. I've intentionally chosen steel bins as they're easier to repair in less equipped countries. So we've got Stephen inside today actually cracking on with the aluminium bed frame, which is great. And I'm cracking on with these bins and I have to say they are incredibly snug, uh, but we're, we're getting them in. This end one isn't quite in yet. Uh, it's, uh, it's very snug. So I'm just sort of working that in uh sitting out a little bit so uh it's nearly there but i'm really pleased with how they're looking and uh be nice to uh, see it on the road okay so i've got the lockers on i'm really happy with them i think they look really sharp uh, and they're really really sturdy which is great and i'm just in the middle of doing a few other little jobs you can see some tape here and i'm just affixing a magnet it's a combination actually of a really strong magnet and uh, a stainless steel door retainer it's the same combination as used in the last truck it works really well and then in between that um i've got a reverse camera to go on as well but i'm still waiting for a little part um so that's going to have to wait and uh yeah lots and lots of other little jobs as always but uh, uh the the frame for the bed is almost in so i'm pleased with that we're just in the middle of cutting the wood for that as well uh on the inside of the garage because that's where all the victron gear is going to be affixed to so yeah we're getting there While Stephen continues with the rear framing out, which will accommodate a 1.6 metre mattress or European king size, I get on with fitting side marker lights. I also cut out a piece of 64 millimetre panel to insulate the front 45 degree cutaway. These will get bonded into place, ensuring there's no air gaps to prevent any cold bridging or condensation. Well, we finally got an infill pad back from the upholsterer. I think it looks really well, actually. It's quilted on the other side for a bit of rigidity, and um, I think it fits in pretty well. We've used a laminated ply by Wisa, which is hard wearing and gives extra protection against moisture. The small aluminium frame is to accommodate the pull-out step into the bed and will also double up as extra shoe storage. 
Izzy joins me to go through the electrical plan in order to mark out where exactly all our power requirements need to be sited. Coupled with our design diagram, this will help Rich, the electrician, where to run the cables. It may only be a few pieces of blue tape, but believe me when I say there's been months of design before getting to this stage. All right, is he happy with that? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Measurements were correct. This is obviously our fresh water tank, and this is 565 litres, less of baffles. So it actually worked out to 550 litres, which we're really happy with. And the space in the right hand side here is where all our plumbing gear is going to be, our pumps, our water filtration system. So it's a good space actually to work yeah. with. And either side of the door here, we've got a seating area to the right and to the left. Um, and there's going to be a little seat, seating area along the back as well. So, uh, table in the middle. So, I think it's looking really well. Well, there it is. Yep, they're ugly as sin, but they are only temporary and they keep us legal. Well, guys, good morning. Well, I'm just about to jump in the truck, drive down to Devizes to get our solar and electrical system installed. I'm really excited about that. I'm actually looking forward to the drive, to be honest with you. And uh, let's just hope it stays dry. Well, here we are. We are shoehorned into a Premier Inn car park. But it was a good journey down, in fairness. It was about four and a half hours. Uh, the traffic was okay. So uh, here we are, rolling tomorrow. Well, we're finally here with Wilts Autolec. Uh, Rich, the guy who's going to do the installation, just speaking to somebody right now, but you can see the truck is behind me, backed in, ready to go. And we've got all our gear from Energy Monkey, all the Victron kit is actually here, ready to go. And we've just spent about 20 minutes walking around the truck with Rich, uh, going through our design, and we're going to disappear for a week and then come back and see the installation. And we're really looking forward to it because it feels like such a big milestone in this build. It's a pretty... Uh, it's a beast of a electrical installation and yeah it's exciting so but for now we're going to go and have a little chill to ourselves right that's it truck is dropped off it's in the hands of uh, of rich so we're actually on holiday now we're taking a road trip to wales we are we're going to wales we're actually going to see some fellow overlanders we're going to see two couples uh all will become clear we'll have a hopefully have a little walk around lynn's truck yeah and uh and the or orkney overlanders we're excited about it we're going to spend the night there we're going to have yeah. a few drinks we're going to have something to eat and uh lots of chat and then we're going to fly back to northern ireland to northern ireland tomorrow for a week before coming back here so it's actually quite nice to um to be relieved of the truck for a week yeah it's it's such a presence in our lives at the moment it feels quite nice to not have to worry about yeah. it we'll talk more about the whole electrical installation and uh why we've sort of come here and all that sort of stuff yeah. uh in a sort of later video once we've actually picked the truck up and we've got the installation done so we're going to go into a bit of depth there because there's an awful lot to sort of um understand and sort of um explore really mm. in terms of our there set out is. because it's pretty huge mm. so anyway for now yeah it's time to eat my fruit gums let's go <laughs> well guys good morning well we are in wales and we're actually here with duty who you might have seen actually on socials uh with lynn and lucy and they've hosted us beautifully and they're having a bit of work done at the moment with the orkney overlanders you can see them just in the background here uh and Stuart and Charlotte are just behind me. Stuart's actually doing a bit of welding at the moment because they're just trying to get their um, tube bins sorted and Stuart's actually welding the frame. So we'll go and have a look and have a little walk around this beast. Right, well there we go. See, you're on camera. That's a different kind of camera. Okay. <laughs> So we've got Stuart, Lynn, Charlotte hiding in the background <laughs> and we've got Lucy here with Duty. So come on then, Lynn, tell me what Duty stands for. Name of the truck. 
Uh, dirty, dirty drag means in slang, small Welsh dragon, cute dragon. That's why, cute. that's why it's red. That's why it's red. My wife's cute and dirty. <laughs> She just needs to be painted red to match a wagon. <laughs> <laughs> right, and there is Stuart. There's the framework that he's fabricating. It's looking good. Thanks. After a great night together and a spot of breakfast, we say our farewells, take a few snaps, and head to the airport. <laughs> Alright, is what you think. Oh, I think it's beautiful. It is gorgeous. I think we need to definitely need to spend more time here. My daughter, who's a crazy animal lover, treated us to a morning of walking alpacas in the hills of Donegal, overlooking the Five Fingers Strand. <laughs> oh, you feel gorgeous. Look at that. Hello. Despite all my travels, I love being home. We go from one gorgeous location to another, catch up with family along the way, and if you haven't been, Definitely put the North Irish coast on your list because it's absolutely beautiful. And just like that, we're back at Bristol Airport looking forward to collecting the truck. Well, hi all. Well, we are back from our time back home, which was great. It was just so good to catch up with family. Uh, and you actually find us in a Premier Inn uh, in Swindon. And that's because the truck wasn't ready. The rich, the guy that's doing the installation, needed another day. Uh, there's a few things, extra things that we had asked him to do and so uh, he obviously needed more time and uh, that means spending another night in a hotel. So he's actually working on it today. We're going to pick a truck up today at about four o'clock or thereabouts, maybe five o'clock. Um, do this sort of hand over take with, with Rich. Now he has actually shown us lots of images throughout the week and we we're really excited to see it because it just looks great. Uh, it's obviously all been sort of planned out. We know what we're getting. We obviously bought the kit in the first place and it's, uh, yeah, it's exciting. So I think we're going to pack up shortly and head off and go and have a chat with them. Well guys, good morning. Well, we're actually in a hotel room again. Because the truck wasn't ready yesterday in the end. We stayed there until gone seven o'clock last night mm. and Rich, bless him, just couldn't get it finished. So he was going to crack into the night um, because we really do want to take it away today. And it's really, really, really close. Uh, and he obviously wanted it to be right as well. Uh, so we did spend some considerable time sort of going round the system and, and sort of round just to make sure that everything had mm. been done. And uh, now we've got another whole load of questions to ask him tomorrow after having the evening to think about it. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, <clears throat> we're actually in the travel lodge. We're going to head back now um, to his place, uh, ask those questions, hopefully pick the truck up yeah. and then head back to Norfolk. So time to have breakfast. Yeah, we did only get up 10 minutes ago. Um, so this is breakfast this morning. Okay. <laughs> this is where we're at. Okay. Right. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Okay, so we just spent about the last 45 minutes going through everything again with Rich. We had so many questions uh, from our time here yesterday and uh, Rich has you know, just given us loads of time. We've gone through everything. All the blue stuff is, is easy. It's all set up. We've got the servo. We've gone through everything. Uh, the time we've sort of spent most on really is all the first fix, understanding exactly how you sort of all that sort of works together. And then how it's sort of talking to the servo, uh, sort of setting up the waste tanks and, and the water tank and all of that good stuff that is going to be really important moving forward and it is in our heads now whether or not it'll be in our heads in a month's time is questionable uh but hey ho there we go for now it's just gone off to pay rich some money and we're going to sort of just get set up in the cab and get on the road back to norfolk well it's been a bit of a drive up today if i'm honest it's going to be about six hours driving by the time we get back 
which is uh, yeah pretty long. Get caught up with traffic on the M25, which is the norm, I suppose. The good news is that the sender unit for the main, main fuel tank is working perfectly. So on the way down, I put in 200 pounds, and I've just put in another 150 pounds, and it's more of a test if you need the fuel. But I just wanted to sort of test it, make sure it's working perfectly, and it is. I mean, it's got up and down, as you'd expect, so that's really good news. I've got to buy another hour in the road, just over an hour, and then back, back to the yard, and then home for a cup of tea, I think. Well, here it is. We are back in the yard. I'm really pleased with it. Uh, we're going to do a separate video about all of this later on, just sort of going through, explaining why we've gone for what we've gone and the spec uh, but for now we've got a 110 inverter we've got a 5000 watt uh, inverter uh, we've got some dc distributors we've got the servo just here the small box uh, we've got the mppt solar controller uh, a buck boost batteries uh, orion and so on so it's all here we're really pleased with it and obviously the first fix is in and i think it looks really really well I've actually got my power tools on charge at the moment as well, which is, which is exciting. Uh, but this whole area is going to get covered over because obviously our bed's on top of this. And we've got an air conditioning unit going here, in here as well. So I'm going to get that in and then we can get this covered in and it's sort of done then. Um, but yeah, for now, it's looking really well. You can see there's lights flashing and all sorts of things happening. We've obviously got the app. Uh, we've actually got the little sort of servo itself, which is going to go into the, uh, the half space. And I nearly forgot about the 2000 kilowatts of solar on the roof. But for now, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, we'll see you next time around. Bye for now.